how's it going? We're going to make Al Capone happy today and clean up a gang car. My name is Doug and you are here on the Full Earth Workshop. Today we're going to look at one of these crazy Lionel Model 50 gang cars. This thing never really existed. There are gang cars, but nothing looked like this. It's one of those Lionel products that when you had it as a kid, you loved it. You crashed it through bridges and other trains. And then when you get a little bit older, you wonder, what in the world did I see in this thing? There is a sweet spot in my heart, though, for one of these gang cars. They actually are very plentiful on the market. You can buy them as cheap as $25 on eBay, which is basically what I did with this one. Similar to most products that were made by Lionel from the 40s and the 50s, they're made incredibly well. The chassis is all cast. This thing is built. I mean, the motor is about the size of a sewing machine motor. And as we disassemble this vehicle, you got to give some kudos to the engineers that designed it. It's put together very simply with as few screws as possible. And look at the armature of the motor. This thing could probably last another 70 to 100 years. So look, we've already been working on this about a minute. and We have most of the parts off already. We're down to the cast chassis and the outer coils of the motor. And just so I don't give up any of the parts to the carpet people, I make sure I always use one of these really cool paint containers to hold the parts. To remove the motor lamination, real simple, it's just these two screws right here. Get them started using some pliers, and usually they'll come out with just your fingers. Set that aside, and look, the laminations come right off. Now, we will need to do a little bit of soldering if you want to do this properly, because I want to make sure I can clean these plastic parts, and this front part of the shell also operates as a bearing. Here we see coils on the right and directional switch on the left. Make sure you stay till the end of the video because we have a brand new household product that really cleans shells well. So a little bit of history on this gang car. It was a very popular product introduced in 1954 by Lionel. It continued in production for about 10 years. That is why so many of these are available. They were pretty inexpensive too compared to most of the locomotives that were sold by Lionel. And really they're kind of fun. The bumper is on the front and the back. Basically, you crash into something, it reverses the direction, and the little guy on the back spins around. Later, in some of the other variants that use this mechanism, they used it to turn a sign back and forth, which probably is a better use of it. Now, to clean the armatures and the electronic surfaces they're going to be rubbing against each other, I use a number two pencil eraser. This is a little old, so I had to roughen it up with some sandpaper, but just take a look at the nice job it does on the armature. I want to give a personal thank you to one of our subscribers who suggested this technique, and take a look. It works great. You want to take a close note when you disassemble this car, because there are a series of parts here that should go back together the same way. Uh, we're talking about a thrust bearing and a couple of washers. You're looking at the motion gear. This is what makes the little guy go back and forth. And here are the shell parts, the front and back. Kind of ingenious. There are some service openings in this part. This one is the horn that is used to cover up the brushes surface for cleaning. These two are for the brushes. The center one is for adding lubrication. The product that I use in that center hole is usually three in one oil. Here's a little primer on the way the parts go onto the armature. The bearing system is basically two washers and a thrust bearing in between them. And now that we have it reinstalled, look how easily it turns. It'll probably run another 70 years, especially if we use this stuff. This is Tamiya's Sara grease. It's used a lot for the tanking RC people, but it works great on trains as well. discovered a great new product to clean train shells. 
Dawn Ultra Platinum Power Wash. It worked incredibly fast to clean these blue bumpers. They actually look blue again. Now we can send this cool little guy going down the track back and forth. A lot of times these railings get a little bit bent over the years. It's really good to take a small planishing hammer and flatten these out before you reinstall. And you're about to see the genius of those post-war Lionel engineers. All these parts are held by one single screw and it works beautifully. So this Lionel number 50 gang car was such a nice little package, Lionel has reintroduced it. <laughs> Even these little guys, which are now painted, have been reintroduced, and I think it looks like original tooling. So you can buy a 1954 model for between $25 to $50 online, or you can buy the new Lionel reintroduction for $119.99, or you can buy one like this, recently sold at auction for $25,000. Well, after a complete service and cleaning, the value on this one's gone up too. Let's put this little beauty back on the track and make sure you stay on the right track. Subscribe now to the Full Earth Workshop.